In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a PowerPoint using Office 365 and how to share it with students in your class. The first thing you're going to do is log in to Office 365 with your username and password. Once you've logged in, you will be looking at a page that looks like this. Now we can see PowerPoint is already located here, but instead of clicking on PowerPoint, we're going to go over to OneDrive. OneDrive is the place where we can not only access documents we have already created, but it's also a place where we can create new documents and we can make sure that the documents we create go into the right folder that we want if we want to use folders. So you can see here in my OneDrive, I already have a folder that I created. This way I can keep all the files associated with my science class in one place. If you want to create a folder, all you need to do is come up to the button that says New, click on Folder, give your folder a name, and then click Create. And voila, there's your folder. Now we're ready to create our PowerPoint, but we want to make sure the PowerPoint goes into the folder that we created. So I'm going to click on the name of the folder. And you can see there's nothing in the folder. Now we're ready to create our PowerPoint. So we're going to come back up to where it says New, and you're going to select PowerPoint Presentation. This is going to open up a blank PowerPoint presentation in the online version of PowerPoint. And because we're working in the online version of PowerPoint, everything that we do is going to get saved automatically. We don't have to go to File Save As. The first thing you always want to do when you create a new PowerPoint or a new Word document is you want to make sure that you name it. Otherwise, your presentation is going to be named Presentation. So to rename this, all you need to do is click on the word Presentation and you're going to type in a name. And by hitting Enter, it will automatically be saved. So you can see here next to it where it says Save, that means the changes to our PowerPoint have been saved. Now I can start adding content to my PowerPoint. If I need to, I can put in my title. But once you have put in a title and you have created the PowerPoint, you can actually now share this with other people that are going to be working on this PowerPoint presentation with you. So how do I share? If we come over to the right hand side of our screen underneath where your name would be, you're going to see a little icon that looks like an arrow. And when you put your cursor on it, it will say the word share. So we're going to click on share, and then you're going to get this pop-up window. Now, we want to share this with very specific people in our class, so we have to make some changes. So this first box over here, it might read people in Lindbergh Public Schools, but we want to change this because we want this to be accessible to only specific people. So I'm going to click on specific people, and we're going to allow them to edit. So we're going to leave this checked off, and then we're going to hit Apply. Once we've done that, now we are going to start adding the names of the people we want to share this with. My suggestion is, is that you start typing in the last name of one of the people in your group. So for instance, if I was going to share this with myself, I'm going to start typing in my last name, and then I'm going to look and to make sure that I click on the correct person, and the name will appear. If you're sharing this with more than one person, you can do that. All you need to do again is type in the last name, find them, and click on them. Once you're done and you have all the people that you want to share this with, you can click Send. So now that this has been shared with my friends in my class or that are in my group, how are they going to access this? Well, I'm going to show you that in another video.